there's only one red and white team, that is Arsenal. It's the greatest club in the world. We've got the greatest fans in the world. Aren't we? They were the history of women's football. Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps already. When I signed for Arsenal, I, I think that is as, as petrified as I've been in my whole life. And that was even when I was running from gangs when we were kids, running from skinheads, I should say. <laughs> for me, Arsenal, it's the passion and it's the love at the same time. For me, it's together, it's going together. Arsenal has always been one of the greatest clubs in women's football. And I think over the past years, I think we've been struggling a bit, but we're on the way back and we want to win the Champions League again. And that's the main goal. We take uh, a lot of pride in being together. We are a team. So if you want to join us, you'll need to be part of a team to create something special. You can say Arsenal is in my blood. I've grown up living in Arsenal. Always wore Arsenal t-shirts growing up. PE, out in a park, in a cage with my friends. I've always been wearing Arsenal t-shirts. So yeah, I've grown up loving the club and I still have so much love for it. J'ai toujours dit, moi, je, vu qu'Arsenal, ça a toujours été un club dans lequel j'ai voulu jouer depuis que je suis jeune, je donne tout en fait pour ce maillot, je donne tout sur le terrain, je me donne à 150%, je donne bah, ma vie en fait pour mon équipe et pour mes coéquipiers et pour les fans du coup, parce qu'on est tous dans le même club, on, on veut tous gagner tous ensemble et c'est pour ça, je pense qu'il m'apprécie vraiment beaucoup. Really respectful, very humble, um, and we always say like doing it the Arsenal way and that's on the pitch and in general as well. We need to move forward, no matter what happens. So this club, as I say, has never shied away on making the right steps at the right time to be successful. There's big growth going on right now in women's football. You see it everywhere, but I think Arsenal is one of the biggest examples for it. A lot of fans are obviously coming our, to our games right now. We, we've got everything we need at the club. The men's team are supporting us, and I think it's just a really nice club to be part of. From a while back, Arsenal, you, you got a chance as a black player to play for Arsenal. When I got there, it was Michael Thomas, Paul Davis. When you're talking about the estate, what I came off of, you want to see where the black players were. People supported Arsenal because they see it was a London club, they were Londoners, and black Londoners were able to get into that team and play well for them and get into the first team. Remember who you are, what you are, and who you represent. That's what Arsenal's about. Ian Wright is a great player, you know that. He came into the team from nowhere, struggled, and uh, made a lot of goals. And he, he brought glory to the club. For my son to play for Arsenal, it's a glorifying experience. I also love Arsenal, and when he decided to go play for Arsenal, I was very, very happy. I became the happiest father on that day. I think the Arsenal way is, you know, we have the values of always move forward, be together, and act with class. If you want to be part of that club, you need to have certain kind of respect, discipline and humility. And these three words are very important to me. So once you understand what they really mean in terms of the club's vision, you know, to prepare these young kids for their futures, that's a big job. Wanna be good? Put your feet up, come on, faster. Come on, Marco. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Down. You're gonna win, you're gonna win, faster, come on, boy. Up. You need to walk harder, faster, faster. I need those feet. Come on, move it, move it, move it, Marco. There's only one goal right now, and that's to make it as a professional, and I have to focus. I have to be tunnel vision on one thing, and that's like being disciplined. When I signed, I remember I was wearing a yellow Arsenal T-shirt. I was just smiling. I had a, my mom gave me the nicest haircut. Yeah, I was just buzzing to sign, man. Yeah, get you the man. Yeah, it's international. You can feel uh, all different uh, culture. Culture, we say. Yeah, culture. <laughs> so it's a good mix, and uh, we're feeling well. The the German mentality is uh, is similar to the to the Arsenal mentality. So Arsenal is a very uh, welcoming club. Pressures on those young players is immense. All you're hoping for people like Awobi, you know, Reese Nelson, players who get in, is that they continue to progress because the pressure they're under, I don't think I can get into the same mindset as what they have to deal with.
It took me two weeks to play in it because we had two away games. And then, um, yeah, we played against Chelsea and I scored against them. I scored a hat-trick in that one as well. Look at that badge. That's what we're talking about. This one's amazing as well. Um, a couple of hat-tricks in this one. <laughs> two, two in a week. <laughs> um, it's so simple. They've The collar, you can see the collar's similar to the to the old classics. And it's just, it's just simple and just classy, exactly what we are. I think there's so many young Londoners supporting Arsenal because they relate to the plain style, they relate to the success, the history of this club. So Arsenal takes a lot of pride in plain style, attacking football, dominating possession, and that's what these youngsters love. To put on that red kit is one of the best feelings in the world, and I one day hope I will do that in the stadium in front of many fans. Make my parents proud. When you have a son like Malcolm that is really passionate about what he's doing, you don't have to criticize him before he criticizes himself when something didn't go right for him. The other day he came back from training and he was saying, oh, I think I didn't do something right, I'm going to run. Now the pressures uh, for a young player coming through the academy, for me to try to explain the pressure that they're under, it's immense. It's why the fans had so much love for you, that you got through as a Londoner to actually play for Arsenal. It was, back in the day, that's why I would say the players would get so much love and so much support. The Arsenal boys, they are the best. The Arsenal boys beat the rest. The Arsenal boys make a run. They're quick on their feet and they score for fun. Ole! If you're an Arsenal fan, somebody who supports their team through thick and thin, does not abuse them and who, uh, uh, encourages them to do better if they're doing badly and rewards them with their smiles and everything when they do, when they do well. And uh, they uh, go to the matches, whether they're important matches or, or just tiny little matches with small teams. That is a true fan. It, the club actually honoured me by doing um, a two-page spread about me in the Bournemouth programme, two-page Oh, with me with my mouth wide open, as you can see, <laughs> singing, singing away. The ladies honoured me at the Everton game and uh, they, they gave me a massive bunch of flowers, red and white, of course, and uh, they also gave me this wonderful thing too. It's a birthday cake. <laughs> Happy 80th birthday, Maria. And I thought that was really sweet of them. Very, very nice indeed. Ich habe für so viele Clubs schon gespielt. Ähm, jeder Club hat ihr Fanbase. Und was ich hier äh, zu schätzen weiß, vor allem bei Arsenal ist, ähm, ich glaube, ich bin schon so viele Jahre hier in dem Geschäft. Erstmal, dass sie für mich äh, ja, diese Ösi-Song gemacht haben, worauf ich sehr, sehr stolz bin. Ähm, immer wenn ich das höre im Stadion oder wenn man mit dem Bus Richtung Stadion fahren. Ja, man kriegt Gänsehaut und ich bin einfach sehr, sehr stolz auf unsere Supporter, weil sie sind sehr einmalig. Besides uh, supporting the men, which as I said I have done uh, since 1950, um, I also uh, go to Bournemouth to watch the youth team. I think that the, we're getting some really great young players coming through the academy. You want to see a player that is playing wholeheartedly for the club and the shirt. That's all the fans want. The fans are the only thing that's pure that's left in the game. They don't change. You know what I mean? We all change. Some people change their teams, and, and that's what you do as a footballer. You move from one team that you say you love, you kiss that badge, you might go somewhere else and kiss another badge. Fans can't do that. So all they want to see is you, and as, as obvious as it sounds, is you just giving everything you can for the shirt, and you know what I mean? Just playing your heart out. It's, it's, it's very, very simple. I've had to choose between two things, and most of the time I've chosen to go to football. Uh, disappointing my friends and family, but they know I have to be at the football match, I have to be there live. I know it's not home, 
but when I get to the Emirates, it feels like home.